Have you ever wondered what are these traditional Japanese sweets made from? These are made from nerikiri dough. And on today's episode, I will teach you how to make the dough at home. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's my with Miss Wagashi TV. On today's episode, I will teach you how to make nerikiri dough in two ways. In the first method, I will use microwave, which is a very popular way to make nerikiri at home. In the second method, I will use gas stove to cook nerikiri dough. Once you know how to make nerikiri dough, you can create a variety of nerikiri wagashi confections. In the past, I shared many tutorials on how to shape and mold nerikiri, so please check out these videos too. Let's get started! First, I will teach you how to make the dough with a microwave. Put white bean paste into a microwave safe mixing bowl and place a paper towel on top of the paste. Microwave for one minute to evaporate the moisture. Take the paste from the oven and stir well. Then microwave it again for another one minute. Now it should look white and dry on top. Please adjust your cooking time as the power vary according to the oven. Let's make mochi. In a small mixing bowl, combine glutinous rice flour and sugar. Add water in two or three additions and mix well until the mixture is a smooth paste. A small amount of mochi is needed for the nerikiri dough as it acts as a binder. Microwave the mixture for 30 seconds then take out from the oven. At this point, it is partially cooked. Mix it and return it to the microwave to heat another 30 seconds. The mochi should now look sticky and transparent. Add this mochi to the white bean paste and stir until well combined. Transfer the dough on top of a damp cotton cloth. To knead it, take the opposite corners of the cotton cloth and fold the dough over. Knead until the dough is smooth. Break up the dough into small pieces to help it cool down faster. Let the dough cool, but don't leave it out for too long or else the edges will start to dry and crack. Gather the dough in the center of the cloth and knead to combine again. The surface should be smooth. Now the dough is ready to be colored and shaped. Cover it in plastic wrap to prevent from drying out. Now I will show you how to make the dough on a stove. Put glutinous rice flour in a mixing bowl. Add water in two or three addition and mix well until the mixture is smooth paste. Place white bean paste on a non-stick pan. Add the mixture and stir until well combined. Turn on the heat and cook over medium heat. Keep stirring the mixture and cook for about 4 minutes. When I touch the surface, it should not be sticky. 
if your mixture sticks to your finger, it should be heated longer. Transfer the mixture on top of a cotton cloth. Take the opposite corners of the cotton cloth and fold the dough over. Knead until the dough is smooth. Break up the dough into small pieces and let it cool from inside. Gather the dough in the center of the cloth and knead to combine again. Now the dough is ready to be colored and shaped. Cover it in plastic wrap to prevent from drying out. If you don't use it right away, you can keep in the fridge for about 2 days.